Welcome to Drawfee, where we take my dumb suggestion and make an even dumber drawing. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And I'm Jake. We're here to draw a dumb thing that I suggested because Caldwell and Nathan are out. Well, I mean, it's uh, a lot of Drawfee fans are really big. F- uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of your guys' art styles. It's uh, it's really cool that I get to just work alongside like some of the best cartoonists in the country. Thanks, and uh, sometimes people need some pointers because you guys have a really unique style and you have uh, really cool things. And it's 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 about time you shared some pointers. So uh, what's what's the uh, lesson this week? Um, I think I think we're gonna try to draw to something something real pleasant. And um, what we're gonna do is that Jacob is going to draw the really nice thing. And then I'm going to color the really nice thing. Now, uh, behind the scenes, I was noticing Jacob was doing some cuteness practice. Oh. I was doing some cuteness warm-ups <laughs> yeah. uh, to prepare it? myself. It was a lot of, like, kittens and babies and, like, you know, like those good sandwiches. Good sandwiches. <laughs> those really good sandwiches. Like the kind that you see in, like, Japan travel blogs. Oh, man. Beanie Babies. Mm-hmm. I drew the entire catalog of Beanie Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the ones dedicated to dead celebrities. To warm up for this. Babies can go real wrong when you draw them. They either they turn out like potatoes or old men or just immaculate babies. There's no like in between on any three of those. I mean, have you those you described the three kinds of babies? Yeah. Okay, well <laughs> someday yeah, I have actually. to I hope to have an adorable potato boy of my own. I hope I hope uh, Andrew Bridgman, our boss who just had a baby, doesn't listen to this episode. Oh, no. We, we saw the photos. That's just a genuine cute baby. Yeah, it's a genuine cute baby. Also, don't worry for a second. Bridgman does not watch drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair uh, point. You ever so, see, like... I think we got nothing to worry about on ooh, that Ooh, ooh. What is this? What is... You have some very key cute shapes down already. This is looking like that, um, that dog cute Pokemon thing. What was it? It's the one that transforms into less adorable dog Eevee. Pokemon things. Eevee. Mm. Yeah. Julia, you knew something about Pokemon. I know. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. You'll break kayfabe. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. You ever see a baby that's, like, delicious looking? No. What? No. Nah, like I've a never ch- wanted to, like, chomp down on a baby. No, that yeah, is a yeah. lie. Everybody at least <laughs> once has seen a chubby baby leg Dude. and been like, shit, I kind of want to bite that. I'm, I'm with Jake on this one. Sometimes you just, like, look at a baby and, like, you see, like, their tiny little toes. And you're like, I just want to nibble them things clean off. <laughs> I this did. baby's going to grow up without toes because they're too cute. <laughs> I did have a friend who looked at, like, a little Pomeranian puppy, you know, when they're at, like, max fluffiness. And mm-hmm. just, she stared at it for a really long time and just went, I want to punt it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, excuse me? She's like, it's so cute. I just want to kick it across the room. And I was like, you were saying as far away from that dog <laughs> as, as I can. I, uh... Although, weird dog breeders, please get on to a kickable breed of small dog. <laughs> Like maybe like we breed for like bone density and like resilience, and this then it's football dog <laughs> yeah. enjoys flying through the air. Like it loves it though. Like it loves it. Like it like nuzzles against your foot and like whimpers unless you kick it real hard. Puppy Bowl 2017 <laughs> is so different. And let me get this right. I'm not for animal cruelty. We need to make dogs that love getting kicked. They it need needs to, to be a two way street. I had a friend growing up, and they had a, a pomeranian. Uh, as a pet and their family. Mm. Okay. And um, my favorite thing he ever said about it was he looked at it. He was talking to the dog and not to me. And he was like, I just want to chop all of your legs off <laughs> so, that, so that you can't get away from me. But I don't want you to know that it's me who did it. So you'll still love me. Oh, my God. Good Lord. <laughs> That's cuteness, though. That's how cute that dog was, is yeah. that it turned him into a Hannibal villain. The dog was dangerously cute. He was willing to resort to violence just so it couldn't get away from him. Uh, we just found the source of all serial killers is just, like, they saw the cutest thing they'll ever see in their life real early on. Mm. Like, yeah. instead of a Pomeranian, no back. it was torsos. <laughs> Some real adorable torsies. Um, speaking of adorable, this is, like, a quality floofmeister. You're, yeah. like, laying look at this, down. Look at, this little, look at this little guy. Oh. Adorable. He's got some brows, so he can be expressive when he needs to be. I'm really glad that you're drawing the cute thing, because I have a severe inability to drawing cute things. It just doesn't happen. They come out like cubes, like weird man cubes. <laughs> man. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Welcome back to Julia's man cube. <laughs> Julia, Julia draws a man cube every week, even though she doesn't want to. Look, this man cube is supposed to be a kitten. Oops. Look at how cute. <laughs> I'd, I'd say Sveal was pretty adorable. Oh, Christ. I mean, so wiggly. I can't imagine something cute. less adorable than that Sveal. Wiggly Tuff was kind of cute. Yeah. Right? I mean, if you got over the undulations. His top head, not his bottom head. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you have to specify which head, it's not something that's cute. Uh, uh, okay, wait, Julie. If there was like a dream animal that like what like that you could own as a pet, you could like change its size, its temperament. Just like the, what rough animal shape do you wish was like an adorable? Could pet? I change like what it eats? Yes. Okay, I would have uh, like an ermine. Oh, like one of them weasels? One of those like those uh, snow ermines that are like mm. white and fluffy and great. But then you see videos of it and you're like, oh my God, that is the cutest thing ever. And then you see the next scene is like it demolishing a smaller animal and it, the <laughs> white fur is just covered in blood. <laughs> the thing about the snow ermine is that it knows that babies are more delicious. <laughs> it sacrifices <laughs> other animals to its own gods. <laughs> Oh my god, it's also uh, its birthday. <laughs> it's his birthday. Oh my god, Jacob. I didn't I didn't bring a gift for this imaginary Pomeranian's birthday. I, I have so a bad. gift. It's Jake, the how gift could you? Of mm. color. The imaginary Pomeranian brings a gift to your birthday every year. Uh I th- dude, I think is, is this is this the uh the line Jacob, work? It's this is it, man. Leg. It's missing a leg. Oh my goodness. No, you know what's even cuter than mm. a puppy? A three-legged puppy. That's true. Even yeah. cuter. You see those guys walk? It's just got a little nub. Mm. That looks like a dick. I'm yeah. going to put that on. <laughs> But I like a really cute dick. <laughs> we'll just we'll just squeeze another leg back here. I can't believe how cute this thing is. No, you know what? I like it better with three legs. All right, mm. would you make up your damn mind? Maybe its other leg is like, Oh, it's dainty. It's oh, doing a little. Dainty. Now it's pooping a dick. Oh no! Oh no! That's awful. <laughs> three legs it is. It's staying like this. It's yeah. got three legs. Three legs it is. Now All you right. played the you don't line need work more than that. No. And Julia, are you gonna you're gonna shade and color this? Yeah, that's my goal. Julia, we're gonna make such a beautiful little thing. We're gonna make we're gonna make something great together. Now, it's a lot of people are intimidated by shading and coloring, especially two D line work. It's Myself almost like included. it's two different. It's almost two different schools of uh, of drawing. What are what are some like key mistakes that you feel like people make that could be easily avoided when starting out? Um, uh, people forget that secondary colors are a thing, like secondary light sources. Mm. So I'll throw that in there so you can see it. Gonna lay down some flats first. Yeah, yeah. Lay down, lay the down base the base color, color which is usually your midtone. Uh, uh. As, as I'm sure all of you guys who watch the show know, if you follow Julia's work at all, she's like a color beast. <laughs> she's like so good at color and lighting. Oh, uh, like one of those, one of those like unicorns. Like one of those unicorns, oh, a one color of those beast. <laughs> She's a mythical color beast, and if you catch her, she will show you colors you never thought possible. <laughs> oh, shmurple! <laughs> Can I amend my answer of what adorable uh, creature I could have? Mm-hmm. I would change it to color beast. The color beast. I would love to have a color beast. Mm-hmm. Hello, this is my pet color beast. I, I, I've named him Sprinkles. Mm. Oh, my God. I feel like this color beast is just a unicorn top with sprinkles. <laughs> And like some nice chocolate fudge. Uh, I think I think I think we've just described a Pokemon. I oh my god, a Pokemon that like is covered in sprinkles and like it sheds. It sheds. Yeah, it spr- sheds sprinkles. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Yeah. Right. And then okay, so we have the base for the the fur, and now I'm gonna uh, get the hat. So uh, I'm gonna give him like a nice a nice little nice little pink hat. Julie knows her stuff about party hats, also. Mm. Real party hat expert. Fun fact. Not the same hat as a dunce cap. <laughs> That's a mistake a lot of people make. A lot of first time partiers. <laughs> as they, a dunce cap, are they calling me? They get me the an hat idiot, and they're like, oh or... my god, do they think I'm stupid? <laughs> Should I go in the corner? I just really like that if they brought back the dunce cap, it would it would totally work. Like in schools? Yeah. They should like resurrect. Like you're not allowed to hit kids, you're not allowed to like traumatize them. You're supposed to like but just like just make them wear a real dumb hat for like <laughs> yeah. twenty minutes. And let the other kids take pictures. You can publicly shame them. <laughs> that is the only way to get a child to change its ways. Or maybe, like, I guess they would have to be, like, maybe clown shoes or... Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, cut-off jeans, <laughs> the shame shame shorts. You have to put on dunce jinkos. <laughs> and you have to wear them for the rest dunce of the day. Dunce jinkos. Okay, so I, here's, here's a tip when you do uh, shading is that you don't want to go just straight down because it just adds black and that... Uh, flattens it, so you kind of want to like saturate it as well. So I usually go in a diagonal. Ooh. But then I want it to be a little dramatic, so I'm going to add a little bit of. You know what? Actually, I'm going to add. I'm going to add some reds. Ooh. Give it a little bit of a. Give it a little bit of a warm. Julia's a accessing warm menus shadow. within Photoshop that I've never <laughs> like, seen or witnessed before, and I've been using it for like six years straight, consistently on like, a daily basis. Jacob is learning with you all. Before that, you were a kid pics boy. 
Oh, Kid Picks only. Kid uh, Picks all the way. Was that too old of a reference? I'm on YouTube. I forgot. <laughs> no, dude. I used Kid Picks, but I was in elementary school. Mm. So if, if any of our viewers are much younger than me, it might be lost. <laughs> Imagine if Microsoft Paint was, like, cool. You got Kid Picks. I have I have no idea what Kid Picks is, but I'm also Jacob's age, so that's weird. Mm. That I don't know. What um, about Print Shop Deluxe? Um, Leave a comment below if you've even heard the name <laughs> Print Shop Deluxe. <laughs> So, uh, here's a here's a thing I feel like I should point out that a lot of people don't uh, know about. If you're using Photoshop, uh, what Julia is doing right now, uh, if you look on the right side of the screen, she's using a clipping mask. Yeah, so I don't is, have to uh, keep. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Keep fixing those shapes. Right? Basically, you can like set a layer so that when you color on it, it only shows up on top of the layer beneath it. So she can like scribble all she wants on the white part, and nothing will happen. <gasps> Yeah, it's it's pretty. It will only show up on top of the flats she already laid down, which weirdly, can be really really helpful for shading. That I weirdly is enough, learned tip. that. Yeah, I, I I learned that in a photo manipulation class, and I was like, you know what, going into drawing. So already, this pupper has some like depth, like he has more like three dimensionality, right? Oh Ooh. my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep keep up with the fluff. This pupper is a uh, go. got some dramatic lighting on yeah. his face. <laughs> You know, he, it feels like this pupper just like walked into the room and is going to tell us who the real murderer is. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. So you've all arrived. <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> I bet you're wondering why I've gathered you here into the poofy parlor. <laughs> into the poofy parlor. Okay. So what I said about that secondary lighting before, I'm going to show that now. The room he's in got much, much darker <laughs> all of a sudden. No, it's just stronger light. You know, mm-hmm. he has a spotlight on him because it's his birthday. Oh, of course. <laughs> he's on stage. Yeah, he's on stage. So I'm, I'm adding some like reflective light over here, right? You know. Okay, so is that like where it's bouncing back off mm-hmm. of other? I'm really glad that I had coffee going into this. So your hands are nice and smooth. Oh yeah, it's I'm like a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> so now I have all that space to do. Um, you know what? Like a like a teal festive light, right? Like party Ooh. lights, right? Ooh. See, oh, so you goodness. have that. You have that oh, this yeah, I see. This this dog is way cooler than me now. Yeah, it, all it took was this like a couple blue lines, and the dog is suddenly cool as hell. <laughs> and then also nice contrast with the pink hat. Jake, is this the secret to being cool? Uh, teal highlights, yes. Is teal highlights the secret? <laughs> I'm not saying no. <laughs> I think it might be. Uh-huh. I'm going to need an array of LEDs wherever I go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. If you're watching the show, you want to be the coolest kid in school, take our advice. Get a teal spotlight <laughs> and have it follow you at all times and backlight you. <laughs> what was that step you just did just then? I just added uh, a slight gradient to under all the other layers I made. I'm, I'm pointing. That's not helping anyone but the people <laughs> in this room. Um, so that you can see, like, the main light that's mm-hmm. casting this darkest shadow mm-hmm. um, I, I haven't been labeling things because it would take too long for me to type everything uh, so I'm getting lost already which is great more layers equals better drawing that's lesson number five <laughs> Julia's getting lost in this puppy nightmare that I've sent her to. <laughs> there's can't. not a uh, not a single hard edge to be found <laughs> she can't deal I know it's my weakness it's hard edges Ooh. so he's been eating uh, he's been eating like uh, like red velvet cupcakes, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A, d- a delicious right? party time treat. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm a fan of red velvet myself. He, oh, uh, oh um, okay. No, that's how cake looks, right? I see he right? spilled a little yeah. bit. I mean, you know, cupcakes get messy. And it's, especially when you're such a small dog, how do you find cupcakes that are that small? Yeah, oh, it's true. I guess. So they're too big. I guess he got a little bit of uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, um, oh. I mean, I guess you know, you know what, you know, it's a common mistake when baking that you like you frost the cupcakes a little too uh, early after baking, and it gets a little melty. It gets a little melty, so he, like right. a lot of ice. Oh, it, oh mm. wow! Mm. <laughs> Re- oh. Really, right around that eye too, huh? Oh, oh what a, he like really shoved his face in there. Oh, oh what? A, oh, it's got to. It's going to be a mess to clean up. So is the is the puppy's owner? <laughs> Anywhere like nearby? Or? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure he's. Yeah, I'm sure he's close by. Mm. I mean, he wouldn't leave such a cute dog unattended. He might get no. like kidnapped or something. I mean, look at him; he's defenseless. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> mm. That's that's very true. All right. Now, when shading puddles, uh, <laughs> is there anything to keep in mind? Keep it nice and round. Mm. See, like like this puddle here. I mean, um, cupcake 
cupcake. What did I say? Cupcake batter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it it also has that uh, that thing where it sticks a bit, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so since it's round and it comes out of the fur a little bit, you want to go a little bit lower than where the shadow is. Oh, because it sticks out a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I understand. <laughs> Jake, are you okay? Are you, did, yeah, I, did I, I miss a step for you? Or are you? No, this is a fun drawing. <laughs> Adorable pups. <laughs> so remember that each one of these mm-hmm. um, is its own little stream of cupcake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna take that color that we used before for the highlight. You want to keep in mind that that main light that I chose that's coming from the left here. Yeah, the spotlight. Yeah. Happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. Puppy. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. <laughs> no, it's great, right? Oh, no. Now that blue lighting has gotten like... It's, it feels a little more sinister. Oh. <laughs> no, hey, Julia, I can't help but notice uh, some subtle manipulations you I might mean, be making to my uh, my lines. He's just... He's getting a little tired. It's towards the end of the night, so you want to like bring out those bruised eyes that people get. Uh-huh. You know, towards the end of the night. Mm-hmm. So what did I... What oh, did this, I do this dog's okay. had a hell of a night, huh? So, yeah, you know, it's just, the party goes on for a long time, and he's such a young pup. Is he a heavy drinker? No, <laughs> he's just, he's been partying too hard. Okay? People wouldn't suspect the puppy. No, I mean, of what, Jake? What are you what Of are partying you this yeah. hard. Partying this hard. Of having a really good birthday party. Of having a really good... Have fun. <laughs> okay, so we've got that drawing down. You want to, like, ground it, right? Yeah, in, like, okay. In its location. So... Um, yeah, right now he's just kind of floating in this white void where, you know, he just has cupcakes and getting a little full. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and then you don't want his uh, fur, because it's a little dark, you know, down by the feet. You don't want it to get stuck, so you want to keep that in mind. So when you're drawing, like, what he's standing on, like, a table, does that sound good? Like, Or maybe, like, hardwood floors? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you give that, you give him that. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's getting, like, you see how it's getting lost mm-hmm. around this area? So you might want to, like... You might you might want to either lighten it up or darken it up, mm-hmm. right? So it's a lot so, of experimentation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of figuring it out. And then it has you know you have to remember that light that's on that dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you you bring it back, and you can do this really easily by um, you know gradient tool if you want to really use a shortcut. Mm-hmm. But remember that this um, crumb pile mm-hmm. has its own. Oh, yeah. Thickness to it, so you, you want to, like, bring it okay, in. Because so the light hits that as well. Yeah, Ooh. obviously. So, see, look, now yeah. there's depth. And then um, it's a party. What's a party color? Like, purple? Mm-hmm. Purple's like a party color. Yeah, right? purple party. Like royal, royal. Purple party, exactly. So There's you're a gonna... reason they call it party purple, Julia. <laughs> uh, that's that's looking a little bright. So we're going we're gonna to bring that down. Like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, yeah, we would hate to uh, hurt anyone's eyes with, with so, light that's too bright at this party. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> oh. remember that that like light. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> if your light source is closer to the ground, the the light is going to fade as it goes up. So you, you take that into account. And then you know this blue light has to be coming from somewhere. Yeah. So we're gonna um, throw this in. Jake, Jake, are you okay? Jake, what are you doing? Jake, what, what, uh, hey, Dad, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to call, <laughs> let you know I'm okay. Everything's okay, Dad. No, we're just drawing cute things. Yeah, we're just drawing cute things. Jake, Jake, nothing's wrong. Jake, calm down. Calm down. Uh, Jake. Uh, Dad, I love Jake. you. <laughs> Jake, put the phone down. If if I don't call back in five minutes, I'm at a, I'm at a cool party. <laughs> so we're just going to, those lines are getting a little, so we're just going to darken those as well so you can see. You can see those beautiful round lines that you made mm-hmm. that my my wonderful soft party, party coloring. Colors. Mm-hmm. So some of these things are actually going outside of the lines. Let me. Number one rule of coloring, don't do it outside of the lines. So what do you, do you think this party's missing something? Should I, should I add like the, the people that are in Maybe there? Maybe should be or? like, you know, like a guest. So you just know mm-hmm. the puppy's not alone. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Um, let me, yeah, I just, I'm tightening up his... Or I don't think he would like if I suggested that he was a messy puppy. Mm, no. <laughs> no, he'd hate it if you suggested do that. Not, do not insult the puppy. <laughs> he's not messy at all. He's perfectly clean. <laughs> clean record. <laughs> clean, clean everything. Clean conscience. Clean conscience. So you want the dog to be um, still the focus 
of the party because it's his party, right? Mm-hmm. So to add people, I think I'm just going to add like a little a little silhouette. You know, maybe like um, oh, maybe he's like doing an action thing because it's a party, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be like a silhouette of this, yeah, this so, guy having fun at this party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's like, maybe he's dancing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe he's like, oh, hey, friends, you should come to this party. Um, I'm going to call... I'm going to call some friends. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it looks like a really good time, so I can't right. blame him for oh. wanting to uh, invite some people. <laughs> I got real dramatic real fast. I mean, that party was too dark for a second there. All right? Yeah. So we'll just clean up this little... This little silhouette here, and like he needs some hair, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like calling his his boys. Yeah, he's hey like, everybody, hey. it's a real puffy party over here. Everything's okay. <laughs> Not a single emergency <laughs> to be had. Um, I mean that's a pretty strong shadow compared to everything else that's going on. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of knock him down a little bit so that he's. Um, and then maybe I mean he looks like a little far away, so maybe I'll. I'll do like a hand is coming to pick up the puppy. Y- yeah, yeah. But it's like closer. Of course, it would want to. It would want to pick up the puppy on his birthday. <laughs> yeah, and you know he's gonna pick up the puppy not by the neck. So he's gonna like pick it up. More of a scooping. Yeah, like a scoop. A scooping motion. Yeah. Hey, you know what's difficult? Hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Julia next, regrets? Yeah, we have been asked to do a hand tutorial, <laughs> so maybe that can be next time. Draw a mitten, then add fingers, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I love hand tutorials because they're always like, draw a square, and then draw the most difficult part, which is just a bunch of yeah. several hinged joints. Yeah, There's... that looks that looks normal. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, like to bring it out a little bit, this is a little cheat that I do sometimes where I like, yeah. I just erase so that it pops out a little bit. Right? Oh, yeah, oh, of yeah, course. Yeah. So this is a cute party, right? This is a good party, yeah. I mean, maybe, like, I don't know, like, has he been eating some of the, the cupcakes, too? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I just want to make sure, like, other people were enjoying the cupcakes. I mean, the puppy yeah. worked so hard to bake them. You know what, actually, that's a good point. So what I'm going to do is to put some of it, like, you know, some of it no. in here. Oh, I here. see. Okay. Oh, what a messy, messy pup. Yeah, so, okay, again, it has its own little thickness, so it's going to go off the table a little bit, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, then, so he just... He maybe spilled a little while he was yeah. while he was reaching to tickle this pup's cute little chin. Uh, yeah. I hate when that happens when I tickle a pup and then all this. I got cupcakes all over my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag so, relatable. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a good day, guys. Yeah, Drafi's a nice channel. We're, a nice channel. We're really Nothing pleasant. is wrong here. <laughs> you know, Nathan and Caldwell should go on vacation more often. Yeah, I feel. Not at all threatened being here with you. <laughs> I like how safe I am. I like how safe I am too, Jake. <laughs> if you, the viewer, think that we're very safe, call an adult <laughs> and tell them to come to Drawfee headquarters mm-hmm. to be safe with us. <laughs> if your parents are police officers or have, like, I don't know, a SWAT team nearby, uh, we would love to share all these delicious treats. And SWAT team, do they make do they make good parties? They make great parties. I think yeah. you'd love to have them here too, Julia. <laughs> Going back to some lessons, I locked my transparencies so that I only edit what's on that layer. Oh, that's a really good tip. See, we've we've all learned something very nice while drawing this nice happy party scene. This is the um, friendliest and best coloring tutorial I've uh, ever. <laughs> do you think? Do you think he needs like a party banner? or Do you think we're good? I I think he might be good. Yeah. You think so? I don't know. Do, do you think he needs a banner? <laughs> yeah. How do you know it's his birthday without a banner? That's a fair point, I guess. Uh. So just real quick, we're gonna again. It's in the background, so. You're going to want to, like, fade it a little bit. So even if the banner is white, you include a little bit of the background color, right? And banners get heavy because they're only pointed, they're, they're pinned only in two locations, which are the sides. So it's going to droop in the center. Mm. Actual tip, physics. Physics think, is the think, best tip of all. Think physics. Think science. So, okay, so we have this. So maybe this puppy didn't want to be too annoying, so he did his own. Mm. You know, That's a very considerate puppy. He did his own decorations, but like, but like really, dogs dogs don't know how to write, right? Not well. Not well. 
So uh, you're gonna want to take that into consideration, and maybe like. Okay, he's yeah. he's done pretty good, you know, mm-hmm. for a puppy. He's his spelling is knowing that he was holding the brush in his cute little teeth. Happy board, Derek. Right. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, and like you know, puppies aren't really uh, clean, as we all know. If you have a puppy, um, so it's like. So oh, he probably got some. Oh, oh he, he he drew the sign after. Yeah, like, I mean, he could have been eating some cupcakes while he was. Mm, oh, that pup, sneaky pup. Puppy got a little hungry. <laughs> yeah. uh, Let's fade that a little bit again, because that's in the background, so you don't want to. Um, Aren't we glad we learned something today? I'm so educated and traumatized. I've learned a lot about both coloring and also you, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> what, that I like really cute puppies? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I learned. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Look at that. Look oh at that complete God. scene we've made. This is so rad. <laughs> this like, is a party that I want to attend immediately. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's great. This is great. <laughs> we learned a good thing today. Um, oh, I want I want this as the wallpaper to my phone. <laughs> <laughs> this adorable little puppy's birthday. Oh, and, and that's how to draw a puppy birthday. <laughs> and that's, and that's how you do cute lines and colors. That's what the video is called, right? How yeah. to draw a puppy birthday? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, guys, uh, thanks for joining us. Check us, uh, Jacob and I, and uh, people that we grab along the way can be found on uh, the Drawfee Snapchat channel, uh, which is pretty new. Uh, you can also check out Drawfee on Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr uh, and oh, our YouTube channel. What's can up? I, can I plug my podcast? Go for it, dude. Uh, I just started a new podcast with my friend Holden McNeely. We do nerd history stuff. Uh, so uh, this week we're going to do the uh, oral history of the Pokemon franchise. It should be should be fun. We're I swear we're not just two sweaty nerds in a basement. It's <laughs> super fun. Uh, look for Wizard and the Bruiser on iTunes. Nice. I'm gonna look for it. Yeah. I drew the art for it. You did. It was really <laughs> rad. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Jacob drew the uh, drew the podcast artwork. Um. Also speaking of that. Uh, Draw Fee is going to be at New York City Comic Con this year. Woo, yeah. Uh, so you can catch me, Caldwell, Nathan, Jacob, Jake, um, and I, I think we've we've kidnapped Sarah Anderson from Sarah Scribbles. Mm. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. We're going to be there uh, October 7th uh, at like 2.45. So if you're there, uh, come grab us. We're going to post a flyer that I made uh, on all of the social medias. Mm-hmm. It's super awesome. Oh, thank you. Um, so catch it there for more information. But whatever you do, don't compliment Nathan and Caldwell. We don't need those two big time in us any more than they already do. Yeah, tell them that we do wonderful birthday cards and scenes. Oh yeah, and if they ask what they did, what we did this episode, lie. <laughs> <laughs> tell them everything lie is great. Teeth. They have no way of finding out unless you tell them. <laughs> Everyone just compliment us forever because we need this. This is fun. <laughs> we need. We need this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And, um, well, I guess I'm sorry. But are you? I mean, no, not really. (laughs) Me either. We're not sorry. No. No, screw that. We're not sorry. (laughs) Have a good happy birthday, puppies. (laughs) (laughs) All right. This is going to sound great. Making the fort full. That's going to sound great for Caldwell when he's editing this. Caldwell's going to love it. Yeah. Oh, you mean that that bastion of hate? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Caldwell. You hear us? You negative Nelly. All right, anyway. All right, ready? Nelly was yeah. a positive force in music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't run, don't run. Oh my god, I really like the idea of a weird like alternate universe rapper named Negative Nelly. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I'm also going to take this off before I start jangling. It's getting it's hot in here, it. but don't do anything about it. But turn off the air. <laughs> Lay down, don't move a bunch. <laughs> it's way too hot in here. <laughs> that was hot in here by alternate universe negative, negative Nelly. <laughs> oh my god, if this doesn't make it somewhere in the episode, I'll be so sad. Anyway, all right, ready? <laughs>